In the quiet town of Yuma, Arizona, in the year 1980, something unusual began to emerge. Local physicians noted a series of infections that seemed stubborn, unyielding to the usual antibiotic treatments. What made this situation even more alarming was that the infections were not caused by some rare, exotic bacteria, but by common strains of salmonella. The culprit? Antibiotic resistance. But the story doesn't start in Yuma, and it's not just about a single bacterium. Let's rewind a bit and see where it all began. In the early 20th century, antibiotics were hailed as wonder drugs. Penicillin, the first true antibiotic, saved countless lives during World War II. Suddenly, previously deadly infections became treatable. The medical world was ecstatic, and rightfully so. Fast forward a few decades, the demand for meat products rose, and with it came the intensified farming of livestock. Farmers were under pressure to produce more meat, faster. And here's where antibiotics entered the picture, but not just for treating sick animals. Surprisingly, these drugs, when administered in low doses, made animals grow faster. The reason for this growth spurt remains a mystery even today, but the economic advantage was clear. By the late 20th century, antibiotic use in livestock became standard practice in many parts of the world. But remember our event in Yuma? It's intricately tied to this practice. As antibiotics were used rampantly in livestock, some bacteria they encountered were not completely destroyed. These survivors, having been exposed to the drugs, developed resistance. They evolved mechanisms to neutralize the antibiotics, essentially rendering them ineffective. These drug-resistant bacteria could then potentially enter the human food chain through improperly cooked meat. The situation in Yuma was precisely this drug-resistant salmonella infections caused by consumption of tainted meat. And while it might seem like a localized incident, it was a grim preview of what was to come on a global scale. Today, antimicrobial resistance, or AMR, is considered one of the top 10 global public health threats facing humanity. It's not just about one town or one bacterium. It's about a potential future where common infections and minor injuries can kill, reminiscent of the pre-antibiotic era. But there's hope. There's growing awareness about the prudent use of antibiotics in both human medicine and agriculture. Many countries are implementing regulations to limit the use of antibiotics in livestock. Organizations and scientists are working relentlessly to find alternatives to antibiotics for growth promotion in animals. So, what can you, the viewer, do? For starters, be conscious of your meat consumption. Opt for meat that's labeled raised without antibiotics if it's available and affordable to you. Secondly, practice good hygiene, especially when handling and cooking meat, to reduce the risk of ingesting drug-resistant bacteria. Understanding the issue of antibiotic use in livestock and its implications for human health is crucial. The choices we make today, collectively, will shape the future of antibiotic effectiveness and, ultimately, the health of generations to come. Remember, every time you consume responsibly, advocate for judicious antibiotic use, or simply share knowledge, you're contributing to the global effort against the ticking time bomb of antimicrobial resistance. If this video provided you with valuable insights, make sure to hit the like button, share it with your friends and family, and subscribe for more educational content. We can make a difference, one informed decision at a time.